This is where I love sharing everything homeschool and a little bit of mom life. In today's video, I'm excited to share with you our geography picks for the 2024-2025 school year. I will also link a playlist to all of our curriculum picks for this upcoming school year in case you're interested in viewing those videos. We love geography in our homeschool and we love covering geography from a variety of different angles and aspects. I'm going to read to you what our approach is and what the five aspects that I like to cover when we're doing geography. That is the location, meaning the specific place and relative locations. That has to do with a lot of things like mapping skills and the exact location of where a place is in the world and what's around it. The place, and that means like the unique location and physical and human characteristics of that place. So that'll be kind of like your earth element when it comes to like mountains and top, topographical geography, that type of geography and the human characteristics. Movement, the movement of goods, people, and ideas across locations. So that has a lot to do with the people aspect and how things move around the world. Human and environment interaction, that's the interaction between human societies and the world that's around them as well as the region and how they are similar and different compared to the world around them. So what we're looking at is there are a few areas of study that we're going to be covering heavily this year. We are doing U.S. geography and we're doing the European regions along with history. Our history this year, we are doing medieval Europe as our main focus as well as starting the year off with ancient Rome. So we are really going to focus on the European region when it comes to geography under all these five different aspects, as well as some focus subjects that are included in those aspects that I just explained. So what we're doing for Europe in our focus subjects, we are using layers of learning. I love layers of your learning because it really is a buffet of options. It enables us to pick and choose what we want to grab from that, but it really covers absolutely everything you could possibly think of. For the focus subjects of geography, we're learning about, we're going to learn about continents. We're going to review that oceans and water aspects. What is a country? Transportation systems. What is a culture? How cultures spread and a lot about population. And those will all come from layers of learning units. The layers of learning units from the European region come from their mapping of the world study. And we have selected the Western Europe as well as the Eastern Europe to focus on. And I'll dig into more specifics in future videos about what, what books and videos and some of the activity that we'll be doing once I've selected those and narrowed that down. As far as US history, this past year, I got, I believe it's 50 states by Knotgrass. And we have absolutely loved that. We are still in New England. We use it about once a week or so. And we learn about each state. We did get the activity book. And I'm also reading, there is a suggested book pack that you can get that has really nice stories that take place within that region. And that is something that we've really enjoyed it well, as well. So we love it. We're taking it slowly. But I didn't want to neglect doing U.S. That has a bit of history and stories in it as well. So I really want to make sure that while we're studying the world that we don't forget about the U.S. and then only focus on the U.S. at one point in time. I kind of want to do all of it all, as one, all at once. But of course, it has to be done in doses. I tend to overwhelm us. So this really works out well for us. So we're super excited this year. I will show future videos some more of the details of what we're doing, but we're definitely excited to jump into geography and the European region. Let me know down below if you love geography and what you use for geography. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.